good to try to capture the original magic of that dynamic between Kirk and Spock. Do you see the potential for a, a Stargate reboot in theaters that mirrors the original you know, SG-1 series as opposed to uh, you know, taking it somewhere else or going back to the, the Kirk Russell film? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where do you see the future of the Stargate franchise? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, somebody asked that uh, just a little while ago, and I said, well, come to think of it, I wouldn't mind being, you know, starting up again or visiting at a different, uh, definitely a different time zone. Uh, like I, well, as an example, I've, I've been asked to do various uh, stylings of, of MacGyver over the years, none of which have, none of, none of, which, you know me and my grammar, right? <laughs> Which, um, anyway, they didn't, none of them interested me very much at all. And I really am not interested in starting over with MacGyver. I think he had his place in the mid-80s with the hair and the, the and hair. Such. And um, so, and unless, and this is the um, but of the, of the question about Stargate was that unless they made the adjustment to say MacGyver or Jack, uh, MacGyver's easier because it was longer ago when I was younger, <laughs> but um, unless they played him as or wrote him as me today or as my, in my age and my lack of physical <laughs> conditioning, <laughs> like he's fat. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and he's, well, I haven't lost too much hair, but anyway, fat, slow, and slower, and sluggish, and you know, no, no, I mean, it's for character stuff, you have to understand, it's a lot more fun to play. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.